What's up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Now, I just got back from seeing Angry Birds 2, which is, of course, the sequel to 2016's Angry Birds. Now, you know, I admit, I was, I kind of already, you know, said this before, but when the first Angry Birds came out, like, was announced, you know, I thought that was a dumb idea. I mean, I'm like, how are you going to do movies based on this uh, app that, can, that, you know, lots of people play and all this? But, the first Angry Birds came out, and it was a pleasant surprise. So when they announced that they were going to do a sequel, that was okay, I was interested in it. But then the trailers got released for Angry Birds 2, and... I mean, the trailers didn't do much for me. Now, I didn't really, you know, care much for the trailers. Like, it kind of, uh, made my, um, anticipation level go down. So I was really... So I was really not all that... Interested in seeing Angry Birds 2 because of how poorly the trailers were and how poorly the marketing was. But, I gotta say, Angry Birds 2 is actually even better than the first film. And, I, I cannot believe I mean to say this. Angry, like, Angry Birds 2 was actually really fun. You know, it was such a really cute anime film. You know, a uh, great voice cast, like you had uh, Jason Stakis, um, who of course uh, voiced the uh, role of uh, Red. Uh, Josh Gad voiced Chuck. Um, you had uh, Danny McBride as the voice of uh, Bomb. Uh, you also had uh, Bill Hader as the uh, Green Pig. And like in it, um, you know, Red, Chuck, Bomb, and the rest of their uh, feather friends ends up being surprised when... Um, when pretty much uh, the great um, pig villain, voiced by Bill Hare, suggested that they had to put aside their uh, differences and unite uh, to fight a common threat. And so pretty much the uh, birds from an island cover um, and ice are planning to uh, elaborate on um, weapons to destroy uh, to destroy both the bird and the uh, pig islands. And the villain of this is uh, voiced, it's pretty much an evil ego um, voiced by Leslie Jones. And so, like, they, you know, uh, the leads are, um, pretty much joined forces with, um, like, uh, a few, um, people, including, uh, the e uh, Mighty Ego, voiced by, uh, Pierre Dinklage, as well as, uh, Chuck's sister, Silver, voiced by, uh, Rachel Bloom. And... And, like, a few other voice casts in this, you got, uh, Aquafina, who stole lots of scenes here. Uh, you also had, uh, Sterling Kane Brown from This Is Us fame. Eugenio Derbez, who could be seen in the theaters now with, uh, Dora and the Lost City of Gold, so pretty cool that he has two movies out now. Uh, you also have Dove Cameron in this, uh, Nicki Minaj, uh, Jojo Siwa, uh, Pete Davidson, uh, Lil Rel Howie, um, Beck Bennett, uh, you had uh, Brooklyn uh, Prince, uh, Maya Rudolph, uh, Gayton uh, Mazzaro from uh, Stranger Things fame, uh, YouTuber David uh, Dobrik. I mean, it's a pretty interesting uh, voice cast that were in this. And uh, I thought it was a really uh, fun, entertaining anime film. Oh, and not to mention, Tiffany Hash was also in this too, so. I mean, it's pretty cool that uh, Tiffany Hatch was in one terrible film, which was The Kitchen, and now she redeemed herself with um, an anime film, Angry Birds. <laughs> and kind of funny how Tiffany Hatch's be better movies of the year were anime affairs. You know, she was in a Lego Movie 2, which was awesome. She was in uh, Sequel Life and Pets 2, which was awesome. And now she's in Angry Birds 2, which is pretty awesome. So funny how her better films this year are anime sequels. And The Kitchen is pretty much her worst movie, like, ever. Like, I'm not kidding. But uh, anyway, back to Angry Birds 2. Yeah, it was... I mean, it did have some cringy moments. I mean, there were some cringy jokes in this. Like, there was a, you know, a pee scene that... I mean, I know kids and all probably find pee jokes funny, but that was kind of cringy. Like, you've probably seen from one of the trailers where, uh, you know, um... When they're a uh, bird cost, like when they, when they're uh, like a bird, uh, just when they, of course, dress up as that bird and they're uh, right next to the eagle while he's, uh, you know, peeing in the, uh, in the urinal. And that pee went on not as long as a uh, mighty eagle's uh, pee from the first Angry Birds, but it still went pretty long. 
But, uh, yeah, and also there's, like, a really, um, fun, um, also the hatchings in this were adorable. I really like the hatchings here. I mean, one of the hatchings, I mean, this, the film is PG and all, but just to warn you parents, uh, there is some adult, like, not, you know, major adult content, nothing like that, but there are some not-so-great words that's actually sort of used, uh, you know how, like, in, um, like, kind of like how in, you know, the, uh, live-action Smurfs, where, uh, they interpreted a curse word with, uh, Smurf, like, uh, for example, uh, when they say, um, F you, they, they say, uh, Smurf you and stuff, well, one of the hatchings actually sort of, I have a little bit of a, a foul mouth, not, I obviously they don't really say a full-on curse word, but there was, like, a scene where, um, uh, where one, like, one, one of the hatches was gonna say a major curse word, and, uh, there was, like, a ship that was, like, beeping really loud above it, kind of like how, um, when people curse, uh, and stuff, you'll hear a beep and on. So, I'm pretty sure I knew what she was saying there. And she also said a few other not-so-appropriate words for a kid's film, but I think it was just all for fun and all. And, yeah, I mean, I... I still quite enjoy it, like, like, despite the cringy moments in this, and the plot, like, the plot line was a little weak, but I still quite enjoyed it, and another really big surprise, because I literally thought, like, I was really going to go um, into Angryverse 2 not really liking it, but it ended up being a real massive surprise, and yeah, I'd say if, like, I'll actually suggest this movie for both kids and adults, like, you know, even if you don't have kids, I think adults will actually appreciate the film, too, because there are adult humor in it that I think adults will, you know, get and all. And, oh, also, not to mention this, there was, like, a short in front of the movie as well. So, if you guys are interested, uh, yeah, there's, like, a little, um, you know how Pixar does those uh, shorts in front of their movies? There's also, like, a short in front of this, too, so... Just a little tip for you there. But, uh, yeah, I'd say definitely give this one a shot, and if they announce an Angry Birds 3, I'll be down to see another one, because I really quite enjoyed uh, Part 2, and I even think it's better than the first one. I'm not even kidding, and... Yeah, definitely go check it out. I think you'll, I think you'll um, have a fun time with it, and... Yeah, I mean, it's pretty something how um, Detective Pikachu and Angry Birds 2 are actually the better video game movies we had in recent years. Let's just show that front. But, uh, yeah, that being said, definitely go check out both Angry Birds. Um, definitely go check out Angry Birds 2 if you guys haven't seen it. It's a really fun film. But uh, let me leave it to you guys. Um, what did, like, did you guys have a chance to check out Angry Birds 2? If so, what you thought of it? Did you like it? Not all films, like, films are subjective. Maybe you didn't like it. Like, did you not like the film? You know, and are you, and would you be down to see, to see a Angry Birds 3? Drop the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This here is Team Movies, sign